we'll discuss here about designing a production system and how this a good production system can actually help an organization achieve competitive advantage. Now, production system has to be understood in depth and uh, so that it can be made into a very uh, it can be made into a source of competitive advantage for an organization. Now, um, the uh, most spoken case, uh, if, if you see the way the production systems have been designed, uh, have evolved over time, there was the craft-based system which was practiced earlier and uh, where individual items were prepared based as, as a jobbing orders one at a time. Then comes the mass production system which was largely popularized by Henry Ford and from there what we study now very often is about the Toyota production system. However, what's important to understand is that the focus should be on the production system and uh, it's not about automobiles. Automobiles have been always labeled as the machines that change the world and of course they did bring a lot of efficiency and value add in the production system process uh, the way the system works. However, over time, what ha what has happened is that there are a number of consultants who and uh, who who have started practicing on the production uh, techniques like the 5S or Lean or Six Sigma or TPM or even the Toyota production system. Uh, so they would they would talk of Kaizen. They would talk of uh, all the Japanese things. Now that, that's, that's important, obviously, when someone has done some very good work, it's extremely important for other organizations to understand them. But what's also important is to understand what is the ideal production system which would fit into your organization and thereby give significant advantage to your organization and rather give a competitive advantage. I strongly believe that a good production system provides excellent amount of competitive advantage to an organization. If we go back to the famous Toyota production system, one can also see that the Toyota production system was not inspired by Ford. Rather, when the Toyota managers in the beginning visited Ford, they saw a lot of muda in post Ford factories or what we call as waste. There was a lot of rework happening. Even Henry Ford himself was not happy at the amount of rework which was happening. Rather, the Toyota managers got inspired by US supermarkets. So when the supermarkets um, um, they saw that the shelves are there and uh, as and when one particular good was pulled out by a customer, a replenishment would happen. So it was in the lot size of one and this concept was worked a long way in creating the Toyota production system and of course the end on card and um, the line stoppage rules and workers as intelligent people not only for their manual labor, all these were the philosophies which got embedded. However, what we have to clearly understand is for any organization, whether it be a process plant, whether it be a, a jobbing plant or whether it be a mass production unit, it's very important for the managers to first design the production system, understand the production system and design the production system. Production system has three components to it. The first component is the demand side of the story, the side of the demand, who are the customers, what are their preferences, what is the mix to be produced and when. So demand as we know fluctuates. On the other side, while there's one side is the demand, the other side is raw materials. Now, raw materials is all about the volatility, the availability, and what I call is the uh, the fluctuation in in availability pricing every aspect of it. We know that raw materials are very, uh, the prices keep on fluctuating. Now here is the big chunk 
called the production system which has to be so designed which has to be classically so designed that the demand side attributes are taken into it the supply side attributes are taken into it and the production system should be such that in spite of demand and supply fluctuation it should be able to continuously improve it should be able to provide as per the needs of the clients it should be able to um, reduce cost constantly variable costs fixed costs it should be able to ma make the maximum use of man machine method material and should constantly provide competitive advantage now one might argue that I have a plant which has a mine next to it which when it was set up it was all fine the technology was absolutely robust everything like that but over time the plant the mine has got depleted so the ore is not of good quality the production system has become so we can have a depleted mine the production system has become old the machines are outdated and the cost of raw materials have raw materials have increased so the question is that when all of this was happening why were you not practicing all these things every bit of the production system has to be constantly looked into so that the volatility from the raw material side the fluctuation from the demand side and is is taken into account and the organization develops competitive advantage it's also important to have a system in place and uh, so that only when there is a continuous system in place can there be checks and balances and at the same time can there be a common understanding so my, my humble request is that stop looking at techniques in isolation please stop following all these things first and foremost is that design the production system which is right for your organization and then work relentlessly towards implementing that production system remember Toyota production system has taken over two decades to become perfect now one can't expect that whatever got done in two decades can be done overnight by just copying things it's more than production system it has got a lot of elements of culture the way you involve manpower the way the learning systems are designed and way the systems are made more um, appropriate depending on the needs over time the production system should also be such that it changes and considers the needs over time which again keeps fluctuating and consider the raw material which keeps on which which is subject to a volatile environment